hey and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be looking at the load save functions so that we can save and load up the best times that the player has accomplished on the track and with that let's let's get started so we're first going to get started in the bp tracker blueprint because we need to add a few things to the apply user settings so we'll just drag over the last two nodes and just move them out the way and then add a redirect node by the player controller and then drag off from there and then search for set map name and connect that and then add another redirect node and then from there drag off and then search for set save slot and then we're just gonna connect all of these together. And then by the map name, we're gonna go down to the variables by custom settings, and then drag in the map name variable we created. Just drag and drop that on the pin. And then for the save slot, we're gonna take the save slot game name and then drag that over and connect it up. And then now with this, whatever we set as the map name here and the custom settings will then be passed over to the uh, controller vehicle controller where the map name is and it will set that so that each each level or each time the tracker system is used on a level you can change the map name you can change the save slot name and nothing will interfere with each other and then with that i'm gonna compile and save so we're done in the tracker blueprint and now we're gonna head over to the player controller. And in the player controller, we are going to add the save check function first. So we'll just double click on the save check function. And then in the save check function, we're gonna drag off and look for does save game exist? And then for the slot name, we're gonna drag in by the save slot and then connect that up. And then from there, we're going to add a branch node. And then from the true, if there is a save game by the specified slot, we're going to drag off and then load the game. But if it's false, then we are going to set best lap. We're going to set these to the defaults. So under the value variables we added, go look for the default best lap time and then drag and drop it on the pin. And then we're gonna look for the set best race time and do the same. Drag and drop on the pin to connect. It. And then from there, we then gonna look for the save game function. and then add that and that is all we need to do for here and then add a comment and then just say check if save game exists and then that will be that from here we're actually gonna go and look and do the save game functionality now so now we're gonna go and say Drag off from the save game and then look for create save game object and then we're going to look for the bp save game and then we're going to from the return value right right click and then promote to variable and we're just going to rename this to save game ref and then from the save game ref we are now going to drag off and search for set wait did i not bp save game oh i didn't create that okay not bad on that one i didn't create the variables we're gonna need so in the bp save game we're gonna come here by the variables and then create a new variable called this 
best race time and then we're gonna change this to a float value and then we're gonna control D make sure it's selected control D and then rename this one to best lap time and also be a float value and then compile and save and then we can close that and then go back to the player controller and just compile everything save it and then now from the pin it should be a set best race time and then we're going to set this to the value of the best race times connect that to the pin and then we're going to add a redirect node and then search for set best lap time and then connect the best lap time to the set best lap time and then from there we are then going to drag off from the set best lap time and search for save game to slot and then we're going to drag in the save slot for the slot name and then we're going to drag in the save game reference for the save game object and connect those up and with that we're done with the save game so i'll just drag a comment at a comment box or everything and say save game okay. just compile and save and then we're going to head over to the load game function and then by the load game function we're going to drag off and say load game from slot and then the slot name we're going to drag in the variable connect it to the slot name and then from the return value you're going to drag off and cost to bp save game get that connected up and then we're going to drag off from the s bp save game and then we're going to look for the best race time and then we're going to drag in the best race time variable value variable just hold alt and drag in the best lap time and then connect it and then we're going to drag off again and search for get best lap time and then we're going to alt and drag in the best lap time and then connect these and that's all we have to do for the load game drag a comment and say load okay oh uh let's see not load 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 game load race slash lap times they were much more much more accurate to what we actually are using the function for so what's gonna happen is from the save game check it's gonna check if there's a save game if there is one then it's gonna load whatever has been saved in the bp save game which will be here in the save game function so if the player has beaten the best specified race and lap times then it will save and then the load game will load those new save times but if the player hasn't beaten the specified best race and lap times then it will simply just set the best and the best race and lap times back to the default that we specified and then it will save that continuously until the player does then beat the best race and lap times. So now with that, we are going to test out and see if it actually works. Go to the event graph of the player controller, find an empty space somewhere, and then right click and then search for debug key. Uh, I'm gonna use J, but you can use any key you want as long as it's not a key that has already been assigned to some other function like WASD or the directional keys or something like that, you can choose any key you want. And then from the pressed, we're gonna drag off and say set 
best that time we're going to look for the text variable and then we're going to do the same and look for the set best time text and then we're going to drag in the best times hold control drag in the best lap time drag in the best race time and then drag off on the best lap time float value and then look for the time to text macro and then connect that and then control and see the macro so you can connect it to the best race time and then connect that up and then from the best time text variable drag off and look for print text and then we're going to drag in by the text variables we're now going to drag and hold control and drag in the best race time best time text as well as the best lab text just hold control and then copy the print text node connect that up connect that up and okay, we're not gonna make this look nice because we're gonna delete it in a moment and add a comment around this for test purposes only delete afterwards there's a note that if there is a save game it has been overwritten and then we'll be able to see what the best race time and lap time is by pressing j or whatever key you specified and then compile it save and then save all and then we click on the bp tracker just to see everything okay that time default has been set everything play the level um, okay so we press j as you can see the times have been set at the top to specify oh sorry i forgot something uh where is it where do we leave it? Where the hell? Oh, not this one. Under the race time check function, we still had the print text from previous video. Delete this and then just compile and save. And then we're gonna save all. We're gonna play the level. So if you press the debug key that was set. It should show you the time that we have set by default, minus four minutes. But let's see if we play through the level. Close the editor and then we play it in the level and then press J and the time is now at 2.35. So the save game load game functions work. If you like the video, if you didn't like the video, feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section. And until the next video.